Good morning, guys. It is Friday. We're doing Fanner Friday. I got a request for Hank and Connor from Detroit. Um, just remember, if you want to submit for Fanner Friday, just put a suggestion in the comments below, and I will try and do it. If I forget, or I forget to write it down, and I don't do it on the Friday, or have too many, I'll try and do it on the Monday, or um, just remind me if I actually do really forget, because I'm really bad for that. Um, I'm, I try to like keep track of stuff and write things down and then I forget where I put it and then I'm like oh I think I got everything and then look back I'm like oh shit no I didn't anyway so yeah And it is hot out today. If you guys, like, I'm in Ontario, so I don't know where anyone else is located, but if you are anywhere near that area, stay inside, stay in the AC. It is going to be disgusting out. And, like, I mean, just disgusting. Like, stay hydrated. That's another thing. Oh my god. You don't realize how dehydrated you're getting until, like, you get heat stroke and, like... Oh, he doesn't have that. Whoopsie! So, I don't know anything about this video game. I'm assuming Connor is like an android. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just assuming this because he's got like the circle on his head. And Hank looks like this crusty old man. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. So you got kind of like this old man that looks sort of like a hobo. And this other dude that's incredibly like clean cut. Interesting dynamic. I think they're about the same height from the screen caps I have of the video game. Maybe Connor's or Hank's slightly taller. But it reminds me of the type of character that Jeff Bridges would. Um, And I will laugh my ass off if Jeff Bridges is the voice actor for this dude. <laughs> I did not look up anything. I just kind of Googled, did an image search on Google for them, so.
And the pencil I'm using is from 3D Total Publishing, if anyone's interested. I got it when I bought um, their character design book, which I have yet to finish reading. I went through it, and then I want to go through and do some of the exercises. But, like, usually what I'll do is I'll read a book in its entirety, and then I'll go through and I'll pick out the things I want to try. Um... I don't know if that's a good way to do things or not, but that way I've read all of the information that all the artists have to say, and then I will go and I will attempt to do, um, like, studies from there uh, that they have suggested. I think I forgot to do it in the video I said I would do it, but I don't think I linked... Um, draw with waffles sketchbook tour that she did she did one like i think it was last week and it was from may and she like killed this sketchbook in um may like it it was amazing and like her artwork took like leaps and bounds like of improvement like it was just it was amazing to look at um i'm actually going to probably rewatch it i've been watching it like almost every other day because it's just it's so nice to see that and like the way like who she was studying off of um and like how she incorporated it into her art and like what kind of studies she was doing and stuff it was really neat to watch so i will try and link that it shouldn't be as dark um, in the comments this time. Uh, I can't remember if I did, so I'm going to link it again because I just found that to be such an inspirational, like, video. And I know a lot of you guys have mentioned that you really like my sketchbook tours, so if you haven't watched it, definitely, definitely check it out. Or check it out again, because it's just, like, really nice. And so Fear Lou did a friggin' Mossery sketchbook tour, like not a sketchbook tour, a sketchbook review. And their sketchbooks look so gorgeous, but they're like $36 for a 36 page sketchbook. And I can't justify that right now. Like, I'm so pissed about it. Like, I just, I really want one, but I'm like, okay, no. Like, you just paid off all your bills. You don't need to buy this right now. And I just bought, like, three massive, actually technically four big sketchbooks that I'm going to get into after this little guy. Like, I need to get back into bigger sketchbooks. But I also got a sketchbook that's, like, 11 by 14. And it is this massive monstrosity. Like, I mean, okay, I can't even, like, show you because <laughs> my hands go off the screen. Um... It is such a nice sketchbook. It's so big. I cannot wait to get into it. It's going to be like, I'm going to use it for like my illustrations and like have like an illustration sketchbook where I do like all my watercolor studies and that's going to be that one. It's probably going to be left at home though. So I'm going to have to really start working in my studio. Hello, I need that reference. My computer just shut off. <laughs> There we go. Oh, he's got like more of a bulbous nose. I'm giving him like this. Yeah, like, he's got the kind of nose that he got punched in the face a bunch, so his cartilage is all broken. If you guys remember that from the nose tutorial. Hey! I don't think I've got him. I don't know, because he's got like the bags, and then he's got this, but he's also got kind of. Not a gaunt face, but he's got, he doesn't have a lot of fat on his face. I don't know. If anyone likes food and wants a really good feel good series, um, watch Buzzfeed's Worth It with, um, I think it's Andrew Lamb. No, Stephen Lamb and Andrew, I forget his last name, but he's Ukrainian. He's had a Ukrainian last name. Uh, but they just go around and they do like these different price points. So it'll be super cheap food, uh, moderately priced, and then super over the top expensive food. And they like say which one is worth it to them, like for the price point. And they've done some like really cool stuff. And they've even gone to like Australia and Japan and like, I don't know. If you just want to, like, get away from all of the news stuff that's been going on that's absolute shite right now because the world is a shit show, 
at this moment in time. Um, that is a really good escapism series. And then you get to see like different parts of the world, different cultures and like different foods, like, cause they kind of just do, is it worth it for this type of food? And, or what's more worth it anyways. So it's, it's just a really fun series. And I bought a t-shirt because I was just like, yes, you guys have like taken my stress level and dropped it completely. Like I stress about everything and watching that, I was like, I don't care. I'm looking at them eat delicious, delicious beef or like really cool vegan food. Like, oh my God. Anyway, so there's my sketch of the two. I don't think I got him right. I think he's more, I don't know. I'm looking at so many different versions of him. Like it's all like the video game captures, but I think his eyes, I didn't get puffy enough. Like he's got more skin as I fiddle. <laughs> I fiddle too much. Anyway, all right. If you guys have any suggestions for Fan Art Friday for next week, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I will write them down in my journal because <laughs> that's the best place to keep everything. Um, if you have any suggestions or requests for videos for me to do or tutorials, please leave that in the comments. Um, next week, I will try and do the um, water brush video. I do have quite a few of them. Like, here's a little one I got off of Wish. I got a four pack off of Wish and they're pretty good. They're small, compact, and they'll do what you need them to do. So I will give you my different price points on them and see like from what my collection is. And then hopefully you guys will be able to uh, use that information to your benefit. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful weekend for those of us in Canada. Have a happy Canada Day. I will not have a video on Monday because it is Canada Day, but uh, I hope everyone has a safe and happy holiday. And for those of you celebrating the 4th of July, have a happy 4th of July. I will also say it on the 4th of July. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will chat at you later.